Hi, I'm Sharon Spangler. I'm here at Reno City Hall with Dave I. Azzi for another episode of Council Connections. And we're going to talk about Mass Rapid Transit, whose time has come in our community. And why is the council getting into this at this time? Well, part of it is um, in our zeal to try to reduce sprawl to get people to move back into the downtown areas and to get people to invest in those areas they want to know that there's transportation set up for them and that's why a lot of this has taken place. Has the ridership gone up with the um, RTC's uh, city fair buses and do you feel that, um, that, that things can be done to improve ridership? Well actually the ridership hasn't been going up because we've had to be cutting services because of the lack of funding. So we've been cutting those services but we're trying to look out into the future and uh, move along those lines to where we get the transit oriented development corridors which you've heard the city of Reno proposing. They're actually in place now that would mean that it would be cheaper, less expensive and less time consuming if someone wanted to move uh, build a project say along Virginia Street it would be easier for them to build it there than it would be on the outskirts of town is, is our hope to try to incentivize people to move there and to get that ridership up. The project that comes to mind is Virginia Lake Crossing I know that that was put in an area that is accessible from Virginia Street. Correct and they, they were able to access a lot of the new regulations we put in where they didn't have to get some special use permits uh, which are very expensive and time consuming. We just, there's more allowed uses. And there's a Todd corridor along 4th Street, along Virginia Street, and, and a couple different areas in town. Now, this Mass Rapid Transit project, maybe you can explain um, how it's going to begin as, as, as a transitional thing that's going to be done in phases. Yeah, there's, uh, from the RTC standpoint, we are doing one. We have been doing it for a while, but we are getting, we're called the Bus Rapid Transit. We have to repaint some buses and rebrand them. Those will be coming out in a few months. But what it really does is up Virginia Street, you'll have one bus system that will skip a couple stops. It'll only stop every third or fourth stop. They get uh, traffic prioritization at the traffic signals. So the signal will know that a bus is coming and it might keep the light green a little bit longer or keep the other ones red a little bit longer. Uh, you might see some buses in the right turn only lane go straight. That's going to be allowed for buses so they can jump the queue uh, for all the cars lined up. They would get to get in the right hand only tur turn lane, but then they can proceed straight through the intersection. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to from some people. But it's to keep those buses on time and provide that incentive for people to take those buses. Which will be great for people that need to get up and down the Virginia Street corridor. Will it go from the university to... To Eventually, Mall. right now it's from Meadowood Mall to uh, the downtown station is where we're getting it to. Hopefully in the future it'll be all the way up to the UNR. It's still pretty close. There's a lot happening with that um, transit center being built right down the street Correct. from us right now. And then um, you've also got plans to go beyond just a bus service. Yeah, well, the bus service is the, the immediate one. We're even getting those new uh, accordion buses. They're not new, but the double buses with the, they bend in the middle. Isn't that so happening we, in the fall? Well, we had to order them. It takes uh -huh. about 18 months to get them. It's so exciting. We won't, you won't see them out there for about 18 months or so, but they're on order already, so they'll be coming, coming here. So that's one of the major uh, pushes that RTC is doing. We're using some stimulus money for that. That's how come we could push this forward a little bit quicker. And also using stimulus money on the new 4th Street station. And then, th so this, the buses are the first step and then eventually you want to get to trolley cars? Trolley cars is something the city of Reno is, is okay. bringing forward, not necessarily the RTC at this point. Uh -huh. So putting on my council hat, uh, there used to be trolleys in Reno. I don't know if people knew that, but Seen I, the old pictures. they went through uh, down Plumas all the way out to Moana Stadium when that was out in the middle of nowhere. There was a trolley car between Reno and Sparks and it's sort of back to the future. We're looking at getting back to that. Uh, they've been pretty successful in Portland and it goes back to uh, for someone who's going to spend a couple million dollars developing something, they want to know that that transit system is going to be there for the life of their project. If you put a bus system in, you can move the buses. The trolley system is there permanently. So that's what we're looking to. And again, it's 
pretty far in the future for some people, but I go back and look over the last 10 years, how quick that went. <laughs> um, it's it's hard to say that 10 years is too us. far out there, but <laughs> we have to plan out that. I, we get a lot of complaints every time we think about something. People, well, in the economic conditions, why are you thinking about that now? Well, it's not necessarily going to happen next week, but the planning starts now. And I didn't mention that Dave is the liaison to the Regional Transportation Commission Board from the city of Reno, so you get involved in all sorts of transportation issues. Yeah, I've been actually the chairman of that. Uh, this is my second time of being chairman, it's, so I'm on that. And the, uh, the other things we get involved in the city council, I'm on the Tumwa board, I'm on the regional governing board. I mean, there's a lot of other things that you get on by being on the council. But the RTC is so important, and I think a lot of people in our community, you were talking about way back when, the trolley cars, but I think a lot of people in, in the Reno community think about, oh, I'll get in my car and drive from point A to point B, but that's starting to change. There's really two parts that RTC deals with. One is the transportation side, the bus system, and the, we actually have buses and elder care. It's called uh, uh, Access now, where we we uh, can take people around, we have cab services, we have a lot of different kinds in the transportation, and then we're also on the road building and road widening side. So there's two separate parts to RTC. But they're all about making sure that we have great transportation That's in and goal. around our, our community. That's the goal. We try to hit those spots. We had a uh, meeting last week, in fact, NDOT came, and we're looking at trying to help them out with the 395 uh, North Court, you know, the Spaghetti Bowl, it backs up all the way south to Meadowood Mall some days. And we're, I think I, we should try to help NDOT get that done, even if it takes local tax dollars, because that to me is the most important uh, lag in our community oh, yeah. right there. That and getting out of Spanish Springs are the two biggest areas that I've, I've heard of. Has the o Obama incentive money been able to help uh, the RTC out in its efforts beyond what we, we were just talking about with the uh, mass transit? A little bit, but not to as big as a degree. I mean, every million dollars helps because it does put people to work. That's the whole goal of it. But you had to have shovel-ready projects, which means they were ready to go. And we've had a couple that were ready, but we couldn't get everything done in time. So like the Meadowood Mall interchange, we got a couple million for that. Uh, nowhere near the 30 million that we, we would have liked to get that. But uh, we, we're, we are moving forward on that piece right now. So it helped and it freed, up, it freed up NDOT money to help us do other things. So it really did help in the state of Nevada. What is the Meadowood ex uh, Exchange going to do? Um, what that's supposed to do, and I think it will, anybody who's been here for any length of time knows the traffic congestion at McCarran and mm -hmm. South Virginia. And with there's no entrance on or off the freeway, you can only get north on 395 right there that you can't get off. So that would be an interchange right there by Best Buy, is what okay. most people see it, and on the other side by P.F. Chang's. So that would put an interchange right there. Wow, that's going to make a huge difference. I think it will. I mean, I think most people, the, one of their biggest issues is, is uh, transportation and traffic and getting from point A to point B. Well, and um, I think people who live close to their work, it, it's very important that people have those choices. Uh, we're also trying to move forward more at the last council meeting. We're going to propose a bike lane up. Of, heard about uh, Arlington. That. Yeah. There's a lot of different parts of transportation, what, what it involves. I think more and more people are riding to work, but you don't see a lot of people from, I don't expect people from Spanish Springs to ride their bicycle to IGT. But if we can get people just within a half mile of their work to ride their bikes more often, that gets that car off the road for just that smaller length of time. Or to get on a bus. Get on a bus, bus is really easy. Or tie those two things together. The buses have the bike racks in the front. You can ride your bike to the bus. And, Put that on there. I, I think if people could experiment with even riding the bus to the Aces game and see how easy that could be, that would be very interesting for people idea. to try. That's a great idea. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. You've always um, right on the pulse of things that are happening in our community. Lots of stuff always going on here. <laughs> thank you. And thing right now. Yeah, really, it sounds like there's a fire. Anyway, thank you all for joining us on this Council Connection.